I assisted feedback and grading and education. Title, Enhancing Education, The Power of I Assisted Feedback and Grading. Introduction. In the rapidly evolving landscape of education, technology has emerged as a powerful ally, transforming traditional teaching methodologies and enriching the learning experience. One of the most promising advancements is the integration of artificial intelligence, I, in the form of I-assisted feedback and grading systems. This innovative approach has the potential to revolutionize the way educators provide assessments and feedback, offering benefits to both students and teachers alike. The traditional feedback and grading process Traditional education systems have long relied on manual grading processes, where educators assess assignments, exams, and projects, often consuming significant amounts of time and effort. While this approach allows for personalized feedback, it can also lead to delays in returning assignments and inconsistencies in evaluation. Additionally, Teachers often find themselves grappling with the challenge of addressing the diverse needs of their students within the constraints of limited resources. Enter I-assisted feedback and grading. I-assisted feedback and grading systems utilize cutting-edge technologies such as natural language processing, NLP, and machine learning to automate and enhance the assessment process. These systems analyze student work, provide instant feedback, and even assign grades based on predefined criteria. This technological leap offers several compelling advantages. This real-time feedback enhances the learning process by allowing students to apply corrections and adjustments promptly. 2. Consistency and Objectivity I eliminates the variability and potential bias associated with human grading. It applies predefined criteria consistently, ensuring that all students are evaluated fairly and objectively. This consistency promotes a sense of transparency and trust in the grading process. 3. Personalized learning I algorithms can analyze individual learning patterns and preferences, enabling the system to tailor feedback and recommendations to each student's unique needs. This personalized approach fosters a more adaptive and student-centric learning environment. This shift in focus enhances the overall quality of education. This data-driven approach empowers teachers to make informed decisions about curriculum adjustments. Implementing I-assisted feedback and grading. The integration of I-assisted feedback and grading into educational institutions requires careful planning and execution. Here are some key considerations. 1. Training the I model. Developing an effective I model requires a significant amount of initial training using high quality, diverse samples of student work. This step ensures that the I system can accurately analyze and evaluate assignments across different topics and styles. 2. Defining criteria and rubrics. Clear and well-defined evaluation criteria and rubrics must be established to guide the I-Systems grading process. These criteria serve as the foundation for consistent and objective assessment. 3. Human oversight. While I can streamline the grading process, human oversight remains crucial. Educators should review and validate I generated grades and feedback to address any potential errors or discrepancies. 4. Encouraging student engagement. To maximize the benefits of I assisted feedback, 
educators should encourage students to actively engage with the provided feedback. This could involve setting aside time for students to review their assessments, ask questions, and seek clarification. 5. Continuous improvement. Our models can continuously learn and improve over time with the addition of new data and feedback. Regular updates and refinements to the AI system ensure that it remains accurate, relevant, and aligned with educational objectives. The ethical dimension. The implementation of AI assisted feedback and grading systems raises ethical considerations that must be carefully navigated. Privacy concerns, data security, and the potential for algorithmic bias demand the utmost attention from educators, administrators, and policymakers. 1. Privacy and data security. Educational institutions must prioritize the security and privacy of student data. Clear policies and safeguards should be established to ensure that sensitive information is protected and used responsibly. 2. Algorithmic bias. Our models are only as unbiased as the data they are trained on. To mitigate algorithmic bias, developers must carefully curate diverse training datasets and implement measures to identify and address potential biases in the grading process. 3. Human-centric approach. While I can enhance the feedback process, it should never replace the crucial human element of education. Personalized interactions, mentorship, and guidance from educators remain fundamental to nurturing holistic learning experiences. Case studies, I in action. Several educational institutions have already embraced I assisted feedback and grading with remarkable success. This approach led to a significant increase in graduation rates and improved student outcomes. Similarly, the University of Michigan's M. Wright program leverages I to provide feedback on students' writing assignments. The I system assesses grammar, style, and content, allowing instructors to focus on higher order aspects of writing during in person interactions. This combination of I assistance and human guidance has enhanced both the quality of feedback and the overall writing skills of students. The Road Ahead, Navigating Challenges and Expanding Horizons While the potential benefits of I assisted feedback and grading are substantial, it's important to acknowledge the challenges that may arise during implementation and explore ways to address them. 1. Technological Accessibility One of the primary concerns in implementing I assisted systems is ensuring that all students have access to the necessary technology. Not all students may have access to devices or stable internet connections required for engaging with iPowered platforms. Educational institutions must strive to bridge this digital divide to ensure equitable access to I enhanced learning experiences. 2. Over reliance on technology. While I can provide valuable feedback, an over-reliance on technology may hinder the development of critical thinking and problem-solving skills. It is imperative that educators strike a balance between I-generated feedback and fostering students' independent analytical abilities. 3. Teacher Training and Integration Educators are essential in guiding students' academic growth and development. Providing proper training to teachers on effectively utilizing I assisted systems is crucial to ensure they can integrate these tools seamlessly to their teaching practices. Teachers should be empowered to curate I generated insights with their own expertise.